all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 11 on the rock, frozen rock. Uh, the last episode, we managed to get our first set of base turrets set up. I want to try to get another one of those set up today. And actually what I want to work on is placing some of the smaller turrets, a small battery of maybe two or three turrets kind of right down into here and then set another turret up over on the corner over there eventually. But I want to try to get the small turrets set up today and then later this afternoon I want to take a drive up into that valley up and in there. I haven't been up and in there. As soon as the sun gets around and over there, we'll kind of go up and check it out. I've been up that valley there. I've been out that direction. And I have been up on that hillside and into that valley up there. So I've kind of covered it. I just kind of realized I hadn't been up into that valley so I thought I would go up there and check that out and uh, see if we can't find any uh, uh, mineral or ores up and in there. I also want to get some more of this done here. Uh, get the uh, start expanding the base out uh, in the hopes that we will find some more minerals. Uh, I think I also uh, built a small cargo container last time. I think I forgot to mention that because I was just getting overloaded with uh, storage and stuff that we've been grinding out of the stone. Uh, we've been using up our gravel on a pretty regular basis and so that's not really the problem. We've been just starting to accumulate uh, nickel and silicon to a point that uh, that was starting to back things up. So in the advent that we ever do find cobalt, uh, I think I will put my assembler uh, right here next to uh, and plug it into this uh, s small uh, cargo container. So that should work. So and I was trying to get that button to work to turn the hydrogen on and off. I still haven't figured that out yet. So once I get that figured out, I will uh, let you know on it. Uh, but for right now, I think what I want to do is uh, at least get this welded up and that will use up some resources anyway. And then uh, start. Uh, oh, one more thing. I was talking about a garage right and I was talking about building it off over in that other direction well I've been mining out uh, down here where I've been getting all of my stone so I've got this quite a bit already kind of hollowed out in here so I was thinking why why waste all of this work and so I'm going to make the entrance down into this area down here. Uh, so it's going to be an ongoing project. Uh, I want to try to get a drilling device built and have it kind of just drill out through there. So it's a matter of uh, building the drills and having them uh, just kind of plunge into down here. Uh, we'll see how that all works out. I might have to shape this out and then use the drills inside, which I know will work pretty well. But I've got a lot of it already hand drilled out, so so we'll take advantage of, of that. And let's see, I think that is about it starting off. So hopefully we will uh, continue to expand this out and that we will <laughs> Uh, catch a break and maybe find some cobalt or something so that we can really start getting to the next tier. We, we really need to find cobalt and bauxite. Uh, I know this 
this refinery will uh, refine cobalt, but I need to find the cobalt so I can build the assembler, so I can build the refinery, the larger refinery, because I'm pretty sure the larger refinery... Let's see here. The production... Refinery. Here we are. Refinery. Actually, I could build the, the larger refinery because I actually have it. I can make everything for it, but I don't have the assembler. So I need to be able to build the assembler, which, as you can see, takes metal grids, and that's, the, that's kind of the sticking point. Get that assembler, then we can really start expanding the base out. All right. Well, let me uh, get uh, this floor welded up, and we'll get that much done. Maybe by then the sun will be up to where we've... Oh, it's actually getting close now. Uh, let me, yeah, let me get this welded up, and then maybe we can take a trip up into that valley and, and see what we got in there. I'll uh, be back with you in just a little bit. Okay, well, it looks like the sun's up the valley pretty good right now, so let's uh, let's take a little uh, drive up and into there, just see what we can get. Let's uh, uh, disconnect this. That's been removed, all right. All right, let's hop in the old buggy here, and let's uh, go ahead and remove our brake. We should be good to go. All right, there we go. All right. Well, hopefully we can find something up in, in this valley. Ah, there we go. Let's get out so you can kind of see the countryside. Oh, I better, uh, hold on. Let me check something here. Uh, let me get back inside. Stop. Do I have the uh, ore detector on? Metal. Better turn that on, I suppose, if we want to find anything. All right, there we go. All right. Okay. Oh, let's turn the brake off. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, swing over here. Just curious. Kind of get close to the hillside. Uh, ice. We get a lot of ice, that's for sure. Wait a minute. What's that up in the upper, towards the top up there? I haven't seen that before. Well, let's go investigate that. Let's get up and see how close we can get to it. Looks like it's up in the mountains up there. Oop, wrong way. See if we can find a draw that we can drive up. Might have to walk up, Derek. I 
let's see something here. Let me let me hop out. Let's park this thing. Let's uh, hop out. Unknown. Oh, I bet I could get right up there. That looks like that flattens out. Let's see if we can drive up there, see what that's all about. All right. We'll go inside the cab. It's a little easier for me to drive that way anyway. Yeah, I think we can kind of get up through here. Okay, all right, that's looking pretty good. Huh, an unknown. Well, I haven't seen that before. This is about as close as we're going to get. Let's park this. And let's, uh, let's hop out. Yeah, that's about as close as we're going to get. We're pretty steep here. All right, let's just see what we got up here. Oh, you know what? I bet... I bet we could get over into that valley. That might be a little better valley. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can get over... All right. Let's see if I can keep from... Hopefully I don't... create a problem here. Come on. Turn around. All right. Let's, uh... Oh, not too fast. Okay. All right. This is good. Easy does it. Easy does it. All right. Okay. Well, getting pretty close here. don't see anything up here. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. All right. Let's park this thing. Uh, let's, uh, let's hop out. All right, that's there. Well, look at this. What in the hell? What do we got here? Whoa. Holy smokes. I've got a dead engineer over here. I wonder... Let's check this guy out. Let's see if he's got anything. Oh, he's got a data pad. Let's take it. Let's, uh... Oh. 
Alright, let's see what this says. Engineer Dolan. Engineer First Class Dolan here. I'm so excited to be accepted to the Monk Engineers and I'm anxious to start learning their ways and technology. Well... Son of a gun, look at that! Well, we'll give him his data pad back. Doesn't look like he's gonna need it anymore, but that's okay, we, we don't need it. Huh, I wonder what happened here. It looks old and ancient. Got some cargo boxes. Well, well, what's down this way? Interesting design and, and technology, or at least wise, it almost kind of looks ancient, but, oh wow, more dead engineers. This Looks like living quarters in here, or sleeping quarters, I guess. And more engineers. I wonder if this was some sort of school? Or some sort of order? I don't know. Uh, nothing in that. I wonder if there's anything here. No. Not finding anything. All right. Well, let's check out. So this must have been kind of like a living quarters area, or like a little little office. Let's turn these. Turn my lights off. Oh yeah, you get a better feel for it. Okay. That's Overseer. Oh, it looks like the shower room. Okay. Assuming they have, like, curtains on here or something. Wash rooms. Huh. I wonder what is this place? Well, let's just see something here. Ah, uh, nothing there. Anything here? No. Nope. All right. Well, let's see. That was the. That's the shower. That's the sleeping area. Well, there was another hallway down here. Let's see what it brings us. Well, let's take a look at here. Ooh, metal grids. You know what? We're going to snag those. I wonder if there's anything over here. Oh, more metal grids. All right. I wonder if there's... How about there? glass wonder if we're not going to be able to get it all that's for sure we might have to make another trip up here let's see what's in here oh an aluminum plates ooh okay well we know that those aluminum plates are there well i wonder what's down here i don't see any controls to open the doors huh i wonder oh we triggered something Oh, look at this place. I wonder what happened here. Oh, hell. I hope we can get back out of here. Our newest technology, the deposit scanner. It will scan for ores up to 15 kilometers. This gives the 
engineers the ability to locate ore deposits quickly saving time. Oh boy, we could sure use that. Upon entering the Great Hall, blueprints have been added to your progression tree. Well, we now have the blueprints for it. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Scanner. There it is. Except we can't build it. Oh, I hope we can use this thing, though. Well, let's uh, let's go up here to the podium. Well, first off, I got some pretty nice digs here, man. A person could actually just kind of take this over and build a base, but eh, it looks kind of sacred to the monks. So let's uh, let's just see what we can uh, find. I still wonder what happened. Maybe we'll find more to the story as as time goes on, but. At least wise right now, maybe we can benefit from their technology. Let's see something here. All right, so the deposit scanner. Uh, let's uh, let's look for cobalt. Uh, you got a short scan. Uh, which? Scan range is three kilometers. Well, I'm pretty sure. Let's uh, let's do medium, three kilometers to 750, and let's see if we get anything. All right, so we got to recharge this thing. So let's charge it, and that's going to take a f few minutes. So it is charging. Let's kind of look around. Uh Oh wow. That uh, charger really consumes power. I hope we can get at least one charge out of it. Okay. Well, while that's charging, maybe we can at least take take some of these materials down. I don't have a lot of room in the buggy, but if we can get those aluminum plates, uh, if we can. Uh, Let's see how many of these grids we can put. There's 40. All right. There's at least that much in there. I really want those aluminum plates. Okay, that's all of those. And let's see if we can get the rest of this glass. Nope, that's okay. Let's hope we can get back in there. Well, we got our grinder. Ah! Okay, it's still charging. Let's go. Let's let's go. Kind of check some of those other. Places out down here. Some of these. I wonder what this loop. We didn't look at this. Oh. 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 Okay. Uh. Do I have room for them? No. <clears throat> All right, let's sacrifice some of that. Let's take these better tools 
They got a paint gun. All right, now let's see how much of this we can grab. There we go. All right. Well, that's well worth coming up here. Okay. Well, let's go check out. Let's see if that scanner, how close that scanner is uh, being ready to be done. Maybe at some point we have to figure out we can get the where the batteries are in here and we can recharge this thing. One minute left. All right. All right, that's getting close. Gosh, I sure hope I find something. If not, then maybe we can do a second scan. Let's see, batteries. Batteries. Oh, these are, that's right, these are lithium batteries. Lithium battery one. Ooh, fully depleted in 11 minutes. Fully depleted in 10 minutes. Okay. Well, I hope. Well, worst case scenario, we grind our way out of here. <clears throat> All right. How close are we? Okay. Let's start the scan. All right, scanning. 7%, 9%. I might have to come up here and at least build some sort of uh, charging or at least maybe put up a, a small windmill of some sort. We'll see. We'll see. This is interesting though. Okay, scanning, 73, 74. Come on, please find some cobalt. Come on, we're almost done. Found cobalt, 6.3. Let's add to the GPS. Okay. All right, I think with that, we've got our power back. Let's take another look at the batteries. Lithium batteries. Okay, fully depleted in seven days. This thing uses a lot of energy. Let's see where that uh, cobalt deposit. Let's get outside. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out the direction of where it's at. Oh, it's getting dark out here. Oh, it's off in that direction. Okay, well, let's get back to base. So, all right, so once I get back to base, I'll catch back up with you guys, and then we can kind of figure out what we want to do now for, for our next steps now that we have found cobalt. So, I will uh, see you at the base. Unless something interesting happens. All right, we're rolling back into base here. And we got our light. Yeah, we got some glass now. We we should be able to build a few more lights around here. Let's get this thing parked and hooked up. 
And... Oh. Well, let me adjust this a little bit more. I didn't think I was that close. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's actually get outside here. Let's, uh... Back up a little bit. All right. That looks a little better. Let's uh, park that. All right. Now let's hook this thing up. Cable okay, placement. There we go. Connected. Perfect. All right. Let's... Uh... Okay, well, first things first. I have... Here's what I want to do. Actually... Oh, I built a small car. I don't know if I mentioned this. I built a small cargo container. Because I was getting filled up with supplies. So let's... Uh... Let's put our glass, let's put our aluminum plates in here, and uh, I'm going to put these in the buggy. That's just kind of keeping things organized a little bit. Let's hop in here, because I think we've got stuff to grab out of here. Yeah, we got these. Let's... Uh, Let's just put these in here. Okay. And... Yeah, that's everything I wanted to put in there. Oh, I want to grab this glass. Okay. And I can't believe that that cobalt deposit is only four kilometers away. Well, that just goes to show how close you have to kind of drive over these things to find them. But in the morning, we will we'll take this thing out because we do have a little bit of cargo space on it and go check that out and see if we can't bring some cobalt back. That'll be wonderful. In the meantime, I'm going to do a little work here on the base. I'm going to get an assembler built, and I'm going to put it right here. So let's uh, see what we need for that assembler. Gee. Hopefully I got enough parts. Uh, production assembler. Okay, steel plates, good. I think it was just the metal grids. Uh, let's drop you down in here. And that's not... I don't think I want that. I think that's what I want. Okay, there we go. Alright. And we're going to place it right there. I just need... Yeah, it'll go there. I, uh, I, I gotta grab some steel plates, though. And I should have a few right here I can get. Uh, plate. Yeah, let's grab, uh, let's grab a hundred of those. Well, I guess I'm not gonna grab a hundred of those. Let's put that in there. And let's put these right here. Good. All right. And then let's plug that in. I wonder what if we put it up here like this? Because we have a connection at the bottom. Uh, that will give us access to the port on top and to the two on the side. 
and eventually we could add upgrade modules on this as needed. So I think that leaves that open on those both of those sides like that. Uh, yeah, let's put it right there. That keeps everything nice and tidy. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to get that assembler built. I'm going to have to obviously build some parts. And once I get it built, or I'm getting close to having it built, I will get back with you and we'll start kind of planning out the layout of the rest of this base. All right, I think I got the rest of my components. So let's see if we can get this assembler built. There we go. And we can access it through here. I think what I want to do is let's go to the control panel and assembler. That's assembling bench. Where is it at here? Oh no. Are you kidding me? I built the wrong damned assembler. Really? <sighs> production, production blocks. That's the one I grabbed. That's the one I want. Oh no. Well, well, at least we can uh, still build it, but that's, that's kind of the challenge to this particular, well, let's leave that one where it is, uh, let's go ahead and put this one right here. Well, so I can now build my paint gun, <laughs> which uh, I uh, managed to get up there in the uh, uh, monk's uh, building. All right, let's plug that in right there. Oh, that's just so disappointing. Kind of a waste, because about the only thing I would build with that other one is the paint gun. I don't have any other mod compatible stuff at the point at this moment. Alright, let's see what we can grab. Cannot grab the 20 motors. Let's uh, build this thing. We'll have to build the other motors. Because if we look at that other assembler and let me uh, show you here real quick as soon as this is done we look in here and we look at what production that this can make the only thing that it can make is my paint gun and that's I can make ammo there which I think that just needs gravel so Yeah, so that's the only thing that this can make. It'll be making my uh, gravel paint. All right, well, when I get the 20 motors built, then I will, uh, I'll catch y'all back up with you. All right, I believe I got the rest of my uh, parts for my regular assembler and let's go ahead and get this built there we go uh, I also a chance to use my uh, paint gun as you can see let's get over here 
Uh, it is much more able to, <coughs> excuse me, get into the details. So if you've got like something covering things up a little bit, uh, where you can't get to, like some of these blocks, like this block here, it will pick up that small block instead of trying to, when you're trying to paint something. So it can get into kind of the crevices and cracks of stuff to really make paint. And it, to me, it just feels more like a tool that you should have in Space Engineers instead of just grabbing a block or something. And we are going to paint this one a little bit different color. And, oh, I, uh, let me do this. I need to change my texture a little bit. Uh, that is shift. And we want rust. Get to it here. Mossy. Come on, where are you at? I know you're there. There you are. Let's, uh... There, that's better. All right, just so that we know that that is a different assembler. Uh, son of a gun. I wasn't planning on building that just yet, but now that we have it. All right, now the other thing we need to do, let's go in here. Let's go to the control panel and let's set our quota. Uh, I think the things that we need to set for this is mainly motors. What else do we got? Uh, that is the main thing that we want to build out of here, I think, for now. Uh, we can build our acid power cells and some of this other stuff, but motors is the main thing. All right, so Let's always have, say, a hundred motors on hand. And let's set that. All right, so we should not have to, what's left over here now? Let's see what we got left over here in our production. So we can build that. Don't need to worry about that. We can build that. We can build that. Uh, light bulb, we can build. That we can build. That we can build. I think we can build everything without having to use this now. So let's go ahead and grab this out of here. We won't uh, tear this down just yet, but uh, uh, we will probably be at some point grinding it down. All right. I still can't believe that cobalt deposit was only four kilometers away from here. I must have drove over that area. I just don't know how I missed it, but there it is. So once morning gets here, we're going to drive out there. We're going to take that rig out there and see if we can't grab us some cobalt. All right. What's next? Well, I was doing some planning here, and I think I'm going to, I want to extend this out, and I want to start building out my refinery section out this way. So that means we'll, we'll place a refinery here, and I'm still debating, I may go underground to plumb all of that in, and uh, uh, kind of take it from there so that uh, we don't have the pipes. I, I kind of go both ways. Sometimes I like to hide all my pipes and my uh, conveyors. Sometimes I kind of like to have the pipes sticking up. It gives it more of that industrial look. So once I get to that point, we'll decide. But I'm going to place my refinery out here and then uh, start to building on from that because there's some other production stuff that goes along with it too. There's like the rock crusher and the purifier. So I want to account for those uh, on my refinery. What those does is you can't really add modules on your refinery 
for upgrades, but those particular production plants actually do the upgrade. So it takes it from crushed rock, which actually gives you more, or crushed ores, which gives you a higher content of ore. Or it uh, uh, then it goes through the ore purifier, which then gives you even a higher content of ore. Anyway, once we get to building that, we'll go over all of that. All right, so at this point, let me start laying out some more ground groundwork here. And I'm going to have to go dig some more stone anyway. So once I get to that point, I will uh, catch back up with you all. All right, the sun has uh, come up, and uh, it looks like it is shining on where that cobalt deposit is. So let's hop in. Well, first off, let me make sure we got gas. Uh, oh, we got uh, gas in the control seat. So we're good. And let's go see if we can extract ourselves some cobalt. Oh, this is this is going to be a wonderful thing. All right, uh, let's fire this thing up and turn the brakes off, and let's hop outside. And as you can see, I've started to construct. The pea shooters bunker. So we're gonna get. Uh, I'll get that uh, done at some point. But yeah, so we're making progress. Let's uh, get out here. Keep from running into any trees. And let's just see exactly where this cobalt is. Actually, the other. You know, I gotta. I want to do something here. Uh, uh, metal. Turn the ore detector on. Covery, where is it at? Let's. All right, it is on. All right. So I just want to see. You know, it looks like it's going to be up there in the mountains. Oof. I don't know if I can get this thing up there. We'll give it a shot. And maybe that's why I did not find... find the cobalt before. I drove around. I don't know if I got all the way up and into there. That's going to be a bit of a rugged... rugged climb, but we'll see how close we get. Uh, all right, I think going up this way, I kind of see what looks like maybe across, kind of going across. Up through this away. Well, that probably explains why I never found it. I'm kind of thinking then that we can kind of hang to our left here. And then kind of just shoot up this away. If we can make it up to those trees up there, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. You can 
do it. You can do it. The nice thing is it'll be all downhill going back, so we won't have to worry too much about power. It's just getting up to it. Okay, we're almost there. We're under a kilometer anyway. All right, up this slope. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, a little more, a little more. Okay. All right, we're up and over. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, no. Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to head back to base, and we're going to grab Cobalt in the next mission, it kind of looks like. We're not going to be able to get up to there, at least in this, so let's head back. Leastwise, we know... Well, hold on. You know what I want to try to do? Well, I guess I am committed to going down. All right. Let me go back over here real quick. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. A little bit more. We'll just we'll just kind of park it right here. Okay, let's park it right here. And let's turn things off. Well, no, we'll leave it running. Uh, I want to run over here. When I get over to the deposit, at least wise, kind of look and see what we got here. But I want to see if I can detect it with uh, this. Wow. I'm going to have to figure out a way to get up to it. But I'm kind of hoping maybe down in this valley. That's ice. Not picking anything up just yet. Oh, there we go. Okay, yep, we got cobalt here. Okay, I'm not going to drill anything today. This will be for our next mission. We're going to go and capture Cobalt. So I think, well, let's run over here. It's really kind of a wonderful looking day over the valley. We have found Cobalt and we found the Monk Engineers order. So it's been kind of a, a exciting day. Well, with that, I think I will uh, end the mission right here, and we'll pick up uh, in uh, day 12, going after Cobalt. All right, space engineers, keep your heads up out there, and good uh, building. We will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.